Hey everybody, this is Super Flashlight Rail Productions. Today I'm going to be reacting to Happy Father's Day 2019. Anyway, Happy Father's Day everyone. Here I go, go, go. Get ready to see Amtrak 156. My first Amtrak here to Genshin with me and my dad. Wow, that was pretty quick. All right then, now we can do UP with the CXX. Oh, that's another good memory. My first farm power on CXX. My dad and I just love rail fanning and getting something good. I'm just so happy to have a great Father's Day with my dad. Alright then, wait till you see the time that, that for genuine got blocked. There's my dad with the camera. That's a little bit too unsafe. We should have put it right here on the grass. And I finally did it this year. Oh, thank you, Dad. And thank you, everyone. My dad, you're awesome. Your channel, Foreign Heritage Special Interest Rail Fan, that's your channel. Ooh, I remember this one. This is for 17G Blocks 10M with MS1069 for genuine trailing heading east. Wait till you wait till you barely see it. I'll just skip to it. Alright, this is where 1069 for genuine gets blocked. Oh, it got blocked. You silly 17G, you block, you block my dad and I's first Norfolk Southern Heritage Engine, Heritage Engine, how could you? Alright, this is the UP, my first farm power on Norfolk Southern. I remember this. There you are, UP. You have been a very popular farm power and my favorite farm power. You know, for genuine, for genuine was my first Norfolk Southern Heritage engine that I ever caught, even though it was barely seen. But wait till you see the next UPs. Ah, this is the one where I had my first solo farm power and my first farm power leading. You know, those farm powers that I ever caught, that UP leading, that was pretty epic in the, on the meat. And it's a good thing that the, that these, I mean, dur during the meat, it was a good thing that 24J, I think that was 24Q, it must have been a glitch. I remember this one, all these empty well cars, well... All these empty well cars, well, these empty well cars, I'm very glad that, that they were all flat. I didn't want them to block it, to block the UP leading. 35Q, well, 24J didn't block it. Let's continue watching. There's my first farm power leading. 35Q meets 24J. Well, actually, 24J came 24J came first, and then 35Q. That was an awesome meet with with different farm power. Wait till you see the next epic video. Uh oh, this video is going to be short, so I better time it. Come on, come on. Would you load, please? This one's really good.
Ah, that one right there, my first CXX engine, long hood forward, leading the cold train in Richmond, Virginia. That was an awesome catch, despite this video really short and without music. Oh well, moving on. Ooh, this one had NS8125 idling in Dumbarton, Virginia. That was the first time I had a Norfolk Southern engine idling on the CXX line, as you can see right there. I think that was a hide hood. I don't even know how it got there. Maybe it got lost. It was just idling, but now it no longer idles. I want to see if that's a hide hood or not. Hmm. Well. Oh, wait a minute. That actually is a hide hood. Wait, is that a high hood? I don't think it's a hide hood. Sorry about those crookeds. I just didn't even... Actually, actually, that's not a high hood. It's just a short engine. All right, wait till you see this other farm power. b and I think that was a b and I don't even know what that dark blue farm power was. It could be almost anything. Ah, another UP idling in the ACC yard. Wait till you see BNSF. Alright, there's a BNSF. And this one has the BNSF and the city rail. I thought you were getting something good, CXX. But it turns out you don't get something good. Alright, this video is getting too long. Can't I just... You know what? Operation Life... Oh yeah, I remember Operation Lifesaver during Thanksgiving. That was pretty epic. And that was quick. Ooh, this one I remembered. Up in Harrisburg, crossing the bridge. Operation Lifesaver. Fourth engine. Almost an elephant style. But Operation Lifesaver's facing the other way. I hadn't seen Operation Lifesaver for a long time. Not even last year. I only first saw in 2016, then 2017. I don't know what happened. Oh well, it's just random. Oh yeah, this one I remember. The NS Engine 2697. It was missing half of its logo. I remember this one. Okay, I really don't want to make this video too long. I know it's exciting, but I don't want to make it too long. Alright, there's the missing half its logo. I'll tell you what, why don't I just stick with the something good? I don't want something classic. Like this. Alright then, just to reduce time, for Father's Day this year, I want to thank my dad for taking me the crew on Easter, presenting PRLX 232 X Santa Fe idling and crew. And this one I remembered all along. I remembered when it was idling and I wasn't expecting it in crew. I was like, what's that engine hiding behind, I mean, idling behind those Herzog ballast cars near the fire station? It was the Santa Fe. That was awesome. I love Santa Fe's. I finally got to see one, but it's actually a PROX. I couldn't tell the number because it was blocked. It almost made its full appearance, but maybe next time it will make its full appearance. It was just idling. Yep, there it is. Okay, can I please move on? It's the same engine. I just did it multiple times, 
so you all can see it in many different directions. Can I just please move on? All right, here we go. Next video. All right, then. I remember. All right, then. 29G. This one had the UP trailing. What a surprise. I wasn't expecting that farm power to come through crew on Easter. I just thought everything was just idling. Oh well, here it comes. Here it comes. 1NS, 2NS, and the UP. Whoa, I mean, wow, and cool, and gosh, that was the first time I caught an original UP, an original logo UP engine in Virginia. Mainly because I catch them on, well, I mainly catch them in Pennsylvania, but let's move on. Alright, I remember this. Alright, NS1067, UP 1995, NCN idling. Whoa, that was epic. I never had that sort of last up even though they were idling. And a stream of 22 and Redstone would probably be so jealous. And as you can see behind the trees is the CN. Right there on that private road on the office. That yellow engine. That's the redding. It almost made its full appearance. But wait till you see this. There they are still idling. There they are, idling, idling, idling on Easter. It made my day. Still idling. Oh, there they are, UP move. There's Redding and there's CM. How awesome, it made my day. All right, wait till you see UP 1995 on 189. All right, then, there's UP 1995 CMW, that stands for Chicago Northwestern on 189, NS 189, the mixed freight heading west. Oh boy, here it comes. I finally, well, I wouldn't want to say this, but my friends in Pennsylvania, they would be so jealous, including Ennis Train Mother 22, Redstone, Central Penn, John Allen, and Tim White. They would be jealous. UP 1995 on Easter in Crew, Virginia. That was totally rare, and I was so lucky to catch it. It made my day on Easter. It was like I was going on an Easter egg hunt in Crew. Hopefully I might see UP1995 another day. It was totally epic. Wait till you see Redding. Alright, here's NS1067 Redding. There it is, moving some cars with that normal NS engine. Once again, it's the same footage, so I'm just going to get to the part where it's moving cars. Don't mind looking at my dad. Whoa, I finally got to see Redding, and I finally got to see a Norfolk Southern Heritage engine in its full appearance. I wanted to show you Illinois Turnable, but I really don't want to waste time. I could show you just a few more. There it is at the fire station. Well, near the fire station. There it is, 1067 Redding. I was so lucky. I couldn't think of anything to say. There I go again, back into the parking lot at that small store. Oh, oh, there it is, 1067 Redding. Backing up with some cars. And for the first time in history, I finally got to see one of those as I never ever got to see them before. Well, that's because for a long, 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 t I mean, 
Not, okay, not that long. For over months, days, and years, I kept missing them because they hadn't made it to Virginia. Now they finally had. And there it is. Me chasing after 1067 Reading. And it totally made my dad and I's day. Along with the farm power. It was so lucky. Hey, wait a minute. I can barely see the Santa Fe on the other side, but I don't know if I got to. Oh well. You know what I have to say, you guys? This has been a great video, and happy Father's Day, Norfolk Southern, and to you, my dad. Alright then, what did you think? Wasn't that great? I caught good trains with my dad. And this has been, and this is going to be the best Father's Day ever. It's tomorrow, so like to this video and subscribe to this channel. Bye bye, and happy Father's Day! Or, happy Father's Day!